The local here, the Orang Sungai, they call the elephant Nenek, which means grandmother, to show respect. We are right now on an elephant trail. The elephants were here a few hours ago, actually. It's hard to imagine, but 10 years ago, this place was completely bare. There was nothing, only grass, not a single tree. We are in Kinabatangan, in the eastern side of the state of Sabah, Malaysian Borneo. We have a lot of elephants in Kinabatangan because, of course, it's a dream habitat for them. It's flat, there is water everywhere. It's one of the most diverse places in Borneo. But it's also the number one production area of palm oil for the entire country of Malaysia. Ninety percent of the floodplain has been converted, meaning the forest has been uh, destroyed and replaced with palm oil plantation. So the major problem we are facing in Sabah today regarding elephants is the fact that their habitat is more and more fragmented. And the problem is that when elephants go into oil palm plantations, they can be extremely destructive, especially with the young palms. One by one, ta, 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 they just pull out the palm and they eat the heart. And this can be extremely costly because a group of elephants can destroy thousands of palms in no time. We realized that we wouldn't be able to get the support of the communities unless we were able to help communities to mitigate this conflict. So this is one reason why re-establishing corridor of forest along the riparian areas, along the river, is important. Tree planting is extremely expensive and it's extremely difficult too. The team who is doing the work here is really an amazing team because the work they do is really tough. To maintain a plot, to take care of your seedlings, it's really a long-term commitment. If it's well done, the forest can regenerate. My name is Mariana, just called Dadai, and start to work in the reforestation unit for 2008 until now. Now we have 48 species. All species we make the fruit because it's important for wildlife. The elephant not eat the baby tree. If the elephant come to inside, the elephant like this. Maybe we have one and two, three, but not broken, but like this. Yeah. I'm very, very proud to plant this tree. So now, we already planned 115,000. Now we have seven sites, four sites already success. Orangutan and elephant, monkeys, all kinds of the birds. They come and use this forest now. And by doing so, they are dispersing seeds of other tree species. In a place like here, for example, where the team planted 20 species of trees, we have today more than 50 species growing. The next challenge will be to engage with uh, politicians, to engage with the palm oil companies, BSM local communities or timber companies. We need to work together to design new strategies that will allow for wildlife to survive outside of this protected forest. When I see how these animals can adapt, when I realize how nature is resilient, I do believe that the idea is not to protect everything. The idea is to give a chance to nature. The idea is to give a chance to these animals. And then they will recover.